And we're done using the clicker so y'all can push those aside out of your way. All right, so just real quickly, I wanted to share this with you. Um, this year in May, um, when they brought in all of the graduating seniors that had applied for a 4-H scholarship, the application process, if you're unfamiliar with it, is you apply and um, normally back, turn it in sometime in, in February. There's a panel of judges that review the actual paper applications and score those. And then of those, the top ranking ones get invited to go through an interview process. And uh, if you are invited to go through the interview process, you're going to get some sort of scholarship. It may be $500, it may be $15,000. Um, and so you're guaranteed some scholarship if you get to get to the interview process stage of the game. And so when we conducted the interviews um, in May in Austin, once the kids came out of their interviews and we gave them this, this little short survey asking them about, we were trying to figure out is there a correlation between kids that are getting our 4-H scholarships and those that are doing record books. And um, not to get into a bunch of the statistics because we don't, you know, there's probably lots of other more in-depth research we could do, but again, just asking them some very basic information and of the kids that went through the interview process. So again, those were guaranteed to have got some form of 4-H scholarship. 88% of them had said they had completed a record book. So, I mean, um, I, I think that that um, speaks highly of those that have been consistent about keeping up with record books to assist them with the um, scholarship process. 42% of those um, had completed a record book for seven to 10 years of their 4-H career. And so uh, not quite half of them had pretty much done record books from when they first joined 4-H at eight or nine years old until they were graduating. 86% said that the record keeping skills they learned helped them in actually completing the scholarship form. And then 83% said they had used their record books as they were filling out the 4-H scholarship application as well as others. And so, you know, you glean from that whatever you want from the information, but we just thought it was interesting to see um, so obviously, you know, there was 12% um, that said they'd never done a record book and they still had a successful scholarship application. They made it to the interview process. Now we didn't track them one for one to be able to go and say the ones that got, you know, 15 or $16,000 scholarships have done record books and the ones that got $500 hadn't. So we, we didn't get that detailed of information out of them, but we were just curious to see is the record keeping skills they're learning from big record books of any benefit when they get to this point of the game when they're graduating and doing scholarships? So those are just a few of the statistics I pulled from our, our data on that. So, so as we um, kind of get into the meat of stuff this morning, y'all share with me what I mean. What, what is the real purpose of us trying to convince our kids that it's important to keep records? Um, or to do a record book. I mean, what are the discussions in y'all's households? Um, I mean, is it just something that we tell them they need to do just because it's part of the 4-H program? Is it, I mean, do you see benefit as, as a parent or a leader? What are we trying to accomplish by making them keep records and do record books? It helps them more and more. Keeps them organized? It helps them year and year look and see how much they've accomplished and what they change. Okay, good point. If they don't write it down, they will forget that they did it. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you forget, you forgot you did that community service, which could be look very well in an application or a scholarship. From yeah. month, from month to month, you forget what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. Um, I, I mean, so what, I mean, as a 4-H a parent or volunteer, what motivates, um, what do you think motivates the kids to do it? Is it mom standing over with a paddle? Is it an awards program on the county level? Is it, I mean, what, what do y'all think motivates the kids to get it done? Um, I, don't think, I don't think the kids really know the younger ones. I mean, in our case, our family, it's just my wife did it, you know, for nine years and she just knows the benefits of it. And she's trying to influence the younger kids with her knowledge. Okay, very good. I'm trying to teach my girls the financial piece because I think money grows on trees. So, just to get them to understand we make money with this money. Sure. Sure. I, I will say, I mean, from my own forage experiences, that is the one thing I remember about record books is every year when we sat down at the kitchen table and we're working on record books and we 
had to figure out, you know, I primarily showed livestock projects, but I mean, figured out the expenses versus income. <coughs> it was really eye-opening for me as a young person to go, oh my gosh, I had no idea that we spent that much money on feed this year, you know, whatever. And so I guess it makes you, it made me, even if I didn't show it at the time, probably a little more appreciative of my parents and the commitment that they had to keeping me involved in the 4-H program. So, um, any other ideas? In our in our county, it's expected, and therefore it's not a question of you know if you do your work with this money when you get turned in. You know, okay. So, and the frenzy of that, especially that last week, as everybody in this room knows, is uh, great kinetic energy that the kids kind of share and commiserate as far as <laughs> got it in and help each other too. Sure. So, okay. So. How many of you? Oh, sorry. Please. I was just gonna say, is there any? Is there ever a time that after you turn in your record books? And then you get them back or whatever, whether it's in the club setting, the project meeting setting, or just at home with your own child. Is there a time where you spend that time talking with your kids and saying, you know, what, you know, figuring out what you're really strong at, what, what are some areas we need to work on for next year? Do you all do that? I mean, do you use the record book in that, in that, in that kind of sense as a tool?